Hi, and welcome to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, the Target Individual Experience. So, as you guys uh, know, I talk about how to delete my video. Um, again, they try to send me a subliminal message about, you know, um, not talking about what it is they're doing. And I know exactly what it is that they, they are doing, right? And I know the type of sub, type of civilian message they want to send to keep me quiet, to shut me up, to not continue to expose what it is that they're doing. So I go to um, start a video on my computer, right? And I realize that my mic uh, is not on, okay? For some reason, it's not working. I unplug the cable, the USB cable. I plug it back in. Nothing, all right? Um... So I said, okay, let me go and try to uh, delete the uh, the driver uh, for the device and see if um, then I have to restart my computer and it'll automatically install you know a new driver. Now, mind you, I turned on my computer. I didn't do anything. Okay, uh, my mic was working fine yesterday. When I had my computer on. Uh, my mic is an RGB mic, so it you know, it kind of lights up, right? I saw that it wasn't lighting up. And, you know, there's a, there's a touch pad on top that, um, you know, when you press it, it'll turn off the mic, but it won't stop the uh, RGB light from lighting up. But I just did that to see if it was on. Because sometimes uh, with OBS, um, I may mute the mic and not remember that the mic is muted in OBS. So then if I don't unselect it, then uh, your mic will still be muted. So anyhow. Uh, like I said, I went to device manager, uh, didn't see the driver. I'm, I'm kind of like confused here. I'm like, the driver should be there because all the other drivers from all my other devices are in there except for the mic. So, of course, I can't connect. Um, I went onto the the manufacturer website for the the for the brand of mic. Um, it's called the Hyper X uh, Quadcast S, right? And again, you know, I have to say these these things and give you guys the brand name and uh, because all of these tie in to again. I talk about how we we were brainwashed into our uh, subconscious, in which they place uh, triggers and anchors. And so, uh, when certain words are being said, letters or what have you, what is being conditioned in us, um, you know, it affects us, right? Um, so anyhow. Um, and again, the reason why, because as you see in my background, I use a green screen. And what the green screen does with OBS, it you, it can, um, you know, delete the background to where you can replace it with another background. Okay? Particularly using the, the software, right? And so, again, this is what you see. So, again, talk about how they, they, they are very um, manipulative and they're very... Uh, sneaky way in how they send you subliminal message in terms of doing things to you, to your devices, knowing how you're go knowing the fact that what you're going to do, because I had to do another part of um, this video that I've been doing uh, for Facebook. Uh, I'm on actually uh, part three right now, right? So again, they know this stuff. And again, it's how they condition you, how they make you think. And, you know, like I said, in order for me to understand this, I have to study this thing. If I didn't study, then I would be probably pissed off as heck, okay? Uh, yelling, acting, not screaming. But, you know, again, I understand this is the type of emotions that they want to elicit because they've programmed you to react that way, right? So, just showing you that when you study this program, particularly what they do in the psychological realm, and with the technology that they have developed, right, to manipulate your mind, this is the type of things that you're going to be thinking. Because, again, they know how you think because they've cre created a particular way of thinking within your psyche. So no matter what you do, you can't get away from it. You're still going to think that way. But the thing is that you, once you understand, you take control over your emotions back. You take back that control. When, when, the, when they want to manipulate you, you're able to see the manipulation. And therefore, you make a, 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 a better judgment for the most part, right? Because remember, when they co-op your consciousness, they may control your consciousness no matter what you do. 
and they're in control of your body they overwrite your will your consciousness okay so always remember that um so anyhow so now i gotta try to see uh how to get this mic working and you know they you know do things uh another thing happened is that um i have a uh, a foot file for my uh, um, electronic foot file that was given to me as a as a gift um and you know if you're like for, for me um remember years ago over a decade ago i went to get uh, my 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 foot done right so i used to get manicures and pedicures um you know in my you know all the way in my, in my 20s you know um all the way to my 30s and then i had a foot infection and so you know when we end up years years i've tried different things i finally got something that works you know even though it's not completely gone but what happened is that my foot right you have flaky uh, itchy skin so i got this foot file as a gift and so isn't it now it's gone it's disappeared right and um because again they use family member particularly my sister because she's the only one that have keys to my uh, bedroom um ever since i had the door replaced and put a new lock on it and so and lately since they've been using her a lot uh, i figured they probably use her to do these things right not to say that you know um with the mic issue what have you but in terms of when things disappear out of my bedroom because again it's her they're manipulating her to uh take these things to give it to them it's all for the setup you know try to set you up try to frame you uh if you particularly for in my targeting and how i am my mindset in terms of you know me being pro-black loving black people loving myself as a black person and want what's best for black people and the fact that the fbi come into a pro program you know again this is not far-fetched right so uh this is why when you know words are being said like rise and and leader and those sort of thing any positive words or any words that has a uh, uh associated with upward um popularity right within the minds of people they'll always use the police sirens immediately as the word is being said or right after okay or again if i'm looking at certain videos reading certain texts uh those sort of thing uh it's had the police sirens in the background okay so again uh i understand what's being done might not work in you know i'm trying to do my uh video and of course they know i'm going to record this you know and of course behind me you see the green screen because i'm i can't take it down right now because you know i'm getting ready to do a show so again i understand the connection and how they do it and it's very slick it's very very slick and like i said you know uh have me exposing this is to make others aware of what it is that they're doing and to not fall into the subliminal message y your mind is thinking these things right but understand that it was a process that they used a brainwashing process a manipulative uh manipulation process right and then on top of that the continuously try to feed you messages negative messages uh, they'll try to feed you positive messages if they see that you're not talking about your targeting, but they still target you. But it is to get you to accept what's being done to you, right? Um, so kind of like with us, uh, black people as a group, not, I'm talking about TIs now, but black people as a group, right? The fact that, you know, we're being killed by police officers, particularly black men, every single year, you know, uh, not to say other people are not killed by policemen too, but as black people, we are disproportionately killed compared to our population number, right? So it's higher within, if you look at population number, black people are disproportionately killed more per population number, right? So there you go. Um, so it's neat to explain that because, you know, people will get all in a tizzy, you, you know. <laughs> but um, so imagine if, if let's say if, if black people were the most populated people on in america right and we're still being killed by police we the number would be three times that of white people being killed by police per day population okay so that's to make you understand and give you some clarity as to what it is i'm talking about but yeah 
anyhow, so this is this is what they do. So those black people we get getting killed, and you know we don't march because we've accepted we've accepted the fact that you know we can't do anything besides march. That's all we can do. See, if it was any other group, they would have taken up arms. And I give you an example. And I was bring down. Look at the, the differences. How when white people feel like they're oppressed, what do they do? They want to overthrow the government. Right, January six of last year, of um was it uh, twenty twenty, I believe. You know what they did again. Look at the difference. We are conditioned one way; they are conditioned another way. Where if the things that was being to us was to be done to them, they're not marching. Okay. They, or at least if they are marching, it's for a purpose and, and an action is being done at the same time. Okay? So, again, um, I just want to put that out there. Plus, you know, they deleted my videos from yesterday because, of course, they didn't want what I had to say and what I was showing uh, to be seen. You know, because there's certain things that I do, will say and will, will uh, show, particularly when I'm targeting, that they don't want anybody to see. Right? This is why they'll do this from time to time. It doesn't happen every time, but from time to time, they will start deleting my videos or not allow me to upload onto YouTube because, again, they'll before my videos are even uploaded, they'll give me a copyright strike, which, again, doesn't make sense to me at all. You know, it doesn't make sense to me at all, but this is what they do. Or they'll say, um, your video cannot be uploaded at this time, and that's it. No other further explanation. But this is what they do to try to silence us. Okay? So... Um, I just wanted to, again, I wasn't going to do this video, but the fact that uh, when I went to um, download the firmware update for the mic, um, you know, it still wouldn't see the mic, still wouldn't, you know, because again, you know, there's no driver, so the mic cannot be uh, found on the um, computer okay and uh, you know this like I said I've, I've had issues where if the mic not working I'll unplug the USB cord and plug it back in it'll work but the fact that when I went into the um, device manager all my other devices the, the drivers of those devices are there except for the mic so you know go figure but I keep you guys updated as to if I got the mic work, working or not Talk to you guys in the next video.